Where's the journey start? Started when I was young many years ago, at 17, uh, now 55. Um, journey's taken me from a young enthusiast, uh, learning the sport, into a fighter, to a coach, to a national representative, running the country, Europe, and the world body, uh, the World Multi Council, and the uh, International Federation of Muay Thai Amateur. But we're um, moved towards the Olympics, got the Olympic recognition now for the sport. Um, you know, I, I've moved, I chose to move my, myself and my family over to Thailand, so I'm at uh, the grassroots level. Um, I can help preserve the culture and the heritage of the sport, and uh, being closer to the, the motherland is uh, 
my choice. Um, now, Muay Thai is a very passionate sport for me. Um, it brings a lot of good things in for physical education for people, um, a little bit of discipline, um, that very free spirited style of fighting. Um, but, you know, most people talk about Muay Thai for fighting. I think it's more for the well being of the self more than the actual physical contact sport side of it where we get you know a lot of celebrities coming to the game um, a lot of women and children we do a lot of campaigns around the world the street kids and you know, it's just called sport as your gang um, muay thai against drugs uh, a lot of campaigns and a lot of uh, company like companies and, uh, sponsoring a lot of governments are recognizing us and, and it, it's a good feeling to give back to something you're so passionate about but yeah, um, you know, the future's bright for Muay Thai and hopefully uh, there'll be a lot more people getting involved. With. He's starting to get his man physique now, and it's like he's going to be quite, it's going to be quite hard to keep his weight down because of his build, his legs. We can't. There's no fat on them. No. No fat on his shoulders and his chest. The fat's around his stomach. A couple of kilos. It's going to be tricky getting his weight down. Because normally he's used to from Bangkok, he was at 60 kilo, and as he's come back here, his weight's slowly gone up because he's got each year he's got old, he's gone up a couple of kilos. He's struggling to get in bikes now. What age are you fighting from? What age did you start? He's fought since he was 10. Wow. Dead over 100 fights. What? Yeah. He's <laughs> fought a lot. And he's had gaps in that as well. He's had like a year off where he had a problem with gyms. He had another problem where he was, because he's trained, he used to train in his hand, because I've always put him with gyms that can take care of him and treat him not as a flank, treat him like a tie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not okay. spoil him, treat him like crap, make him fight. If he fights like crap, make him fight again. Make him eat the same shit, make him understand what it's like to have nothing. Yeah. And he, he did five years, six years, three of which by himself in Bangkok. Okay, water's there, Patrick. <laughs> 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 
Food over there, perfect. Yeah, Chang right there for your dad. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> nanny, nanny, nanny. <laughs>
โยกเข้าไปครับถ้าเกิดมือตรงกันลงอาจจะร่วมได้ครับโอ้ยขยับขยับจะต่อยครับเจอแข้งซ้ายสาดมาก่อนเอาทีขวาตั้งหลักได้แล้วนะครับทงไทยตอนนี้ครับโบกเปิดเกมดุดันดีแล้วเกินครับเทพยาไฟครับทงไทยก็สู้ได้ดีเลยครับสู้ได้ดีเลยทีเดียวแล้วเอาขวาตรงไปแล้วครับแม่วันนี้นี่หมัดขวาแล้วก็แข้งขวาทํางานดีมากเอาละครับทงไทยเตะซ้ายครับเป็นฝ่ายเดินเข้าทางโอ้โหแข้งซ้ายหอมทงไทยครับเนี่ยครับผลักกันได้ผลักกันโดนครับเอาขวาหลุดครับหมดยก
What? Camera. Camera. Everybody, everybody, And then this or the same. Some badass motherfuckers. The first time you came here was? 99, yeah. 99, September 99. And um, <clears throat> there was, like what we're standing under now, <clears throat> it wasn't here, there was one ring. That was the only bit that was covered. It was all concrete out there, uh, mud all over here. Um, uh, very, very basic, but still wicked training. Really, really good, they had a great little group of ties there. Um, looking after a lot of the orphan kids that come from bad homes. Um, and uh, Ralph and Stefan, you know, were looking after them, but they were still running tours out here. Okay. And it's, it's, it's wicked to be back, but since then, oh, 20 years since then. 17 years since the last time I've been here, but 20 years, that's, that's crazy actually, just thinking about it now. Yeah. 20 years <clears throat> since the last time, so bringing, in you total there's nine of us, but there's seven. This seven is your company, you train at home, right? Uh, yes, well, some guys that I work with from back home, um, from actually from a couple of different gyms. Um, some of them uh, do MMA, and but they love the striking side of things. Um, and the rest of them, they just love uh, Muay Thai, basically. Um, so it's wicked to have them, because I think we, you don't, you can really love Muay Thai, but you don't truly get Muay Thai. And like, I fully understand really what it's all about, <coughs> the culture and everything behind it. 
because it's such a deep, rich, you know, rich cultural history. It goes back one of the oldest martial arts there is, thousands of years old. You know, the Thais use it to defend their country on the battlefields. Um, but you don't get all about it until you actually come and live it. And see Stay the in the camps. <laughs> yeah. And how many of you have come all together? So there's seven of us at the moment, including me. Yeah. There's another two coming tomorrow for the last sort of five days. Um, so it's just a tiny little snapshot. I was fortunate enough before, you know, Ralph, uh, my old trainer who, who owns the place, yeah. looked after us and I stayed here for months at a time. Just a couple of, the, the, couple of weeks the first time I came, and then I came back about a year after that. Had my first two fights <clears throat> out of these guys here, uh, but I stayed two months for that time. Went back to the UK for two years, decided that wasn't a thing to be doing, come back out here again for three months. So, so it's very accommodating here, right? Oh, super, super. <clears throat> so it's one of the best, I, I think. For, for people to come here and experience Muay Thai in this kind of environment with such a wicked ratio of Thais to, to students in the way they're doing it and it's hard training man, mm -hmm. it's really really mm -hmm. hard um, for a gym that takes so many westerns through it and you've just got a beautiful location you know, seconds from the beach to me there's everything that you want here Very good food across And you have pucker food over yeah, there Yeah, very very good because I'll be coming yeah. up to eat it as well Yeah, yeah, but, really um, cool. So what is your plan in the next, you know, next few years? With Actually, training stuff. I'd love to just bring more people. Like their reaction was before we got here on the first night. Um, so we hadn't even been here a few hours, and they're going, "Ah, oh, I want to book for next year. I want to book for next year." And so, uh, hopefully, we can just. I'd, I'd love to bring more people back out here. Um, uh, you know, conti continue working with the, the, the gyms at home that we do, um, MCMA, um, and some of the fighters that I do. Um, be be they, you know, helping them with their striking MMA or just pure Muay Thai advice, but yeah, just, just get back out here more often. Mm -hmm. Realised basically for 17 years, to, to not been back here for 17 years was far too long. And it just reminded me of that coming back out here. So it's, it's wicked just to be back again. Really.